Hello everyone, my name is Gabriella Perry and this is my CS50 final project, Collab Digital Fab. Collab Digital Fab is a web application for designers and design students to find fabrication resources during COVID-19. The About page gives a little more in-depth description about the web application and includes two links to redirect to the fabrication listings and the fab blog. Before we go exploring everywhere, let's just get logged in. All right, now that we're logged in, let's go check out some fabrication listings. You can check them out here or click on the nav bar link. And then here it displays all the current fabrication listings. If you're looking for something specific, let's say you want to look up 3D print because you want to 3D print something. You search and you'll find out, okay, so this is 3D printed earrings and this is drone building, which must be 3D printed as we can see here. And if you want to go more in depth into either of these listings, you can click on view listing at the bottom. <laughs> view listing has a little bit more in depth information about the machine, the materials, and the available colors, and even an average rating of this specific product. And you can rate this. So let's say I bought this like last week and I really liked it. So I'm going to give them a five star rating. And you'll see that their rating went from 4.7 to 4.8. If we go back to fabrication listings, let's say you wanted to create a new listing. I'm just going to pick a quick image. Then we're going to fill out these fields randomly so we can just see what happens when I try and post it. And then you can see that these cute little dinosaurs displayed as a new listing in the fabrication listings. And so that was fabrication listings and blog is laid out in a very similar way, but blog is not meant to offer services. Blog is more meant for people to just take a look around at what's going on and see what other people are doing and post what they're doing. It's a community for designers or community for fabricators who are designers. But let's say you wanted, you were really interested in this print and you really wanted to talk to someone about it, then you could actually reach out because the contact info of that person is in this post. And I did it offline specifically so it can be a little more engaging for the community and then you make more friends because the GSD is sort of lacking its communal aspects of it right now. Now, let's say you want to check up on what your specific listings and your specific blog posts are. Then you have up in the right hand corner, my listings and my blog posts. So my listings and my blog posts are also very similar to how fabrication listings and blog are laid out. But the main difference is that they're in a single column now, so you can view them individually and they have all the information from the individual posts, but they also have this new functionality of being able to delete it. So only the user is allowed to delete their own posts. So I know these dinosaurs are cute, but we didn't really fill out any of the fields. So let's go ahead and delete this post. Now, if I scroll down, we will see that the dinosaurs are no longer here. I can repost them later. And blog post is very similar, of course. And they also include the create a new post and create a new listing function in case you wanted to create a new listing from here. And then once you're all done with the website and you don't really need to be on here anymore, you just log out. It takes you back to the login page. Well, this was Collab Digital Fab, and I hope you enjoyed touring my website. Thank you.